So we've covered a lot of tests related to our product's CRUD, the full create and edit and stuff like that. The final quick tip I wanted to give you is what if you want to test only some parts of your so-called test suite. While running PHP Artisan Test, you can specify a filter, Artisan Test, filter, and then you can provide class name or method name. For example, auth test would run only auth test. If we specify products test, it would run only products test with only 14 tests. And remember we have 18. It also is possible to filter by method. So for example, if we copy the method name and paste into filter, it would execute only that specific test. So if you don't want to run your whole test list, which maybe takes some time for bigger projects, you can test only specific tests that you're working on right now or specific class that interests you. But of course, before deploying the project, I would still advise to run full test suite because quite often as developers, we don't really know what other parts of our application are affected by our new changed code. So now you have the most important basics of how to write tests, the syntax. In the next chapter, we will discuss what to test, how to decide what tests to write and what tests are worth our time. And if we think even further, we will cover the PEST examples. So I will try to recreate the same test suite with PEST and with TDD. So you can make a pause here if you covered this section and just think about what you just saw, or you may just continue with the next chapter. See you there.